Hey there, everyone. I hope you are all doing good. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the mighty harmonic oscillator from Verbos Electronics. One of my former students asked me to do a proper demo of the harmonic oscillator. So before I show you all the sounds that I like with this thing, I will show you how it works, give you a basic overview of the module. So this is a triangle core VCO with a set of classic waveforms, such as triangle, square, saw, We also have an FM input, which is uh, meant to receive audio rate modulation for FM synthesis, and a CV input with bipolar attenuator, which is meant to receive sequences, envelopes, or mostly CV, or audio rate as well, if you want very deep modulations. Of course, one volt per octave to plug in a keyboard when you want to make notes. Then we get to the specific part of this module, the harmonic part. Here, we have this mixer with all the harmonics. The fundamental on one. So it's really easy to create unusual waveforms and very like organ sounding kind of things like this. There's a input to control the amplitude of each of these each of this band with whatever you want as we will see there is an output that doesn't take the slider or cv into account it is just a full sine wave so if you want to process each harmonic externally and then we have this scanning part, uh, for me it makes more sense to start with center. This is where we are in the harmonic scanning, which can be the silent part in between two harmonics. And then width will open around that center point. So if we stay at center zero and open the width, we will have some sort of the equivalent of opening a filter. And then we have this tilt, which will emphasize the upper harmonics and decrease the lower ones. Yeah, I have this, but as I turn the tilt, those will disappear in favor of the upper ones. And the opposite on the other side. And all of this is also voltage controllable with an net inverter on each input. Let's start by the simplest and less modular patch. It does require effects, and actually it's a perfect pair with the multi-delay processor. The only thing you have to do <laughs> to make this patch 
is take this final output of the harmonic oscillator, plug it straight to the delay, let's put everything at minimum. Which makes very nice drones. One of my favorite ways to use this is to make soundscapes. I plug it to the delay, add the reverb feedback tap, add a few taps like this. You can hear that it beef up the sound in a weird way. You can do everything manually like this, which I really like to do. Add a bit of octave up shimmer. Let's remove that fundamental. And from there, you can just play with the sliders here and here. And of course, decide to add some control voltage to all of this. I like to patch fluctuating random voltage to the fundamental. Just to make it inst an unstable thing like this. Maybe some others to upper harmonics. Getting in a bit hot in the delay, which make it crankle. Also, probably too much feedback. I love to use it at its maximum delay time because it adds some noise, which is perfect for this kind of patch. Triangle airflow to the delay time. It's better of the random gates. So yeah, together with the with the delay processor, it's just an endless cinematic soundscape generator. Because the harmonic oscillator uses one VCA per harmonics, plus all the scanning functions that will basically change the volumes of each of these eight harmonics, it is an awesome module to explore amplitude modulation. So let's patch up once again our final out to my output, which is the delay. So now I can decide to change the level of any of those harmonics with something else to make what's called AM synthesis. I would use audio rate modulators for this. 
this is not audio rate so far, but it does make a tremolo. Basically, amplitude modulation is just super fast tremolo. Which imprint the frequency of the modulator on the volume of a source, of a sound source. Here I've managed to sort of tune them. So you have that beating drone. Let's add another one to another harmonic. And this creates awesome drones. It can be fun to try with different waveforms. Especially with waveforms, with wave shapers. On top of that, you can add more rhythmical things. This is made using no external VCA. We are just listening to the output here. Let's add a bit of delay on this. Now let's make some cross patching. It's FM, one of the modulator, with one of the output of the HO. Let's also make an LFO with the polyphonic envelope modulate this. Nothing should stop you of using the other outputs. the saw wave being filtered by the QMMG and the result of all this harmonic amplitude modulations both mixed in the delay some proper texture
One of the other super patch with this is just a combo with those three modules. Basically, one thing I really love to do is to drive the H all the input of the HO using the multi-stage. It can do it alone, but multi-stage plus the sequence selector is even more fun. to crank the input a little bit for this one. More dirt. Yeah, just a little trick. You can send the ref back into the time CV and invert it, which make it go super fast, but mostly make it exponential. So we can use this make super sharp envelopes. Let's clock the sequence selector. Take the CV out. you have a track. <laughs> saturation so you can hear how it will sound normally. that it is all controllable by hand. And by patching. You can very quickly change things. Okay, I won't go into the mega details of this one. I just wanted to show you that it is possible. I like to use the HO as some sort of an old school drum machine sound generator. Uh, for this, the polyphonic envelope is really not the best envelope. I, I had way better result when I was using the Quadra from Intelligel because it has exponential envelopes on the get-go. Here I had to do a feedback patch to get the exponential envelope, but it's a weird one and it doesn't work as intended. But still, we get some funky stuff. All the envelopes are triggered by the drum channel of the Beatstep Pro that's off camera. So the 
kick envelope, which is the first one, is melted to the FM. So I can get a bit of a boom boom boom. Because of the lag of this input, because it's the, an AC input, an FM input, not an exponential one, it introduced some sort of wobbliness that I like. One thing that gives this more character is also to patch some noise at the CV input. Yeah. Then we can crank up a bit of distortion on the delay. Just give a bit more character. And I also have clocked the voltage multi-stage down there from the Bitstep Pro. And this is sent to control the center parameter. You could also put it to somewhere else. Clickland is also quite cool. Also, of course, use the sequencer on the pitch. you to push the pitch up and while there's the noise modulating it gives you those sort of clinky snares i think that's it i think i made all the patches that i prefer oh there's also the bass one but maybe i'll do a video just on this one because it requires some uh, crazy sequencing and just let me know in the comment if you really want me to do it thanks for watching everyone i hope this was fun and helpful and it gave, it maybe it gave you some idea to try it with your oscillator. FM here as well. That's important to try. See you next time in another video. I'll make a little sample packet of this for my Patreon subscriber. Many thanks to everyone who is already supporting over there. If you're not, feel free to check it out. And uh, yeah, also feel free to buy some stuff from the affiliate links below, it always helps. Bye bye everyone, see you next time!